How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink from 3D Central here, and if you're a Fusion 360 user like we are, you're probably a big fan of how easy it is to design things in the Fusion 360 workspace. But unlike programs like Tinkercad and Onshape that let you design in your computer's browser, Fusion 3 requires an app to run. The Fusion 360 team actually just rolled out an update that lets you not only modify your existing designs, but create entirely new designs completely in your computer's browser. Google Chrome, Firefox, I've seen some people even using it on Chrome books. And this means that you can take your designs which are completely stored in the cloud and access them from any computer and add modifications or even create entirely new ones. And this is a really big update. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can access your existing designs, modify them, or even create an entirely new one using your existing Fusion login. You ready? Let's do it. We're going to start here at the Fusion homepage and just go to the top right to sign in and go down to Fusion Team. And now from here you're just going to sign in. And now you actually have access to all of your files. So here's everything that you've made. And in addition to all of the files that you can edit, you also have this option up here, of create project. So we can call this fusion browser test, pick an avatar, create the project. And from here, we're going to go up here and click fusion design. And now we're at fusion in your browser. So click accept, X out of this. And now here we are, and if it looks just like Fusion, that's because this is basically the Fusion environment. And it's still a preview, so it's missing a couple of things. You still can't measure, um, but you can do some of the, you can do a lot of the basics. So we can go in and we can just make a quick sketch. And we can bring that up. And all of the Fusion hotkeys still work. So you can still sketch straight onto a surface and press C for circle, E for extrude, things like that. And you're still making all of the same basic shapes. But all of the basics are still there to create a new shape. And you can go through and you can create a lot of the same kind of shapes that you would make in Fusion Desktop. And you've also got access to all of the construction planes, so you can still go through and you can construct a plane at angle, and then you can sketch onto that as well. So it's got a lot of functionality, just like you would find in the Fusion app. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but for the most part, it's very similar. And now we've made our first part. You can also go through and modify existing files, so I can open up something that I've worked on before, and you can just click on that, and then this is a model that I built previously, and you can edit in browser. And now it loads up, and this is the original file. And from here, you're able to go through and modify it just like you would if you were in the Fusion Desktop app. Really cool and really powerful stuff if you're doing Fusion design on the go and you don't have access to your computer, or if you want to just use Fusion at work and you don't want to have to go through and install the full software package. It's just like Tinkercad. You can go in and modify your files, sketch out a really quick design, or if you have access to a Chromebook, you can just make a really quick CAD part in the Fusion environment and print it out almost immediately. As this goes from preview to full-fledged product, this is going to become a really valuable addition to the line of Fusion apps. Awesome, now you know how to access Fusion 360 from your browser. So this is still kind of in beta mode and they're still sort of ironing out some bugs. So right now it doesn't seem to work on iPads. I've seen a few people posting on Twitter that they were having issues with it, but I have seen posts that it does work on Chromebooks. So experiment around, see what devices it works on, and know that the Fusion team is really responsive, especially on Twitter, to any bug reports you have. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more 3D printing tips and also Fusion tutorial videos, which we're gonna be rolling out a ton of in the future, and I'm really excited about those. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.